Amen. 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 This is come from that song that we've been saying that you are God. You are amazing. Yes. The thing is, God is continually amazing us. When you look in your family, is still working. Your family is still working. You may think that he's done enough, but he's going to amaze you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Kali tu wangalo kweba za katonda tulese kumunyomba ye. We want to thank God who has brought us here this afternoon. Atenga atukumye. And he's protected us. Tucharibo. We're still around. Atuani dentaro. He's fought our battles. Atuamba zisa. He's clothed us. Atuani zisa. He's fed us. Atenga achakola. And he's still doing it. The God who called us is faithful. And the job, the work that He started in us, He will accomplish it in victory. Amen. 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 Because He's a faithful God. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Uh, who's got a testimony about this great and amazing God? Who's saying that I've got a testimony about that? I want to give a testimony. <laughs> Praise God. Uh, sometimes I feel shy to give testimony because it's just like God is doing so many things for me, you know. And I just feel like it's just too much. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yesterday we were doing a bit of running about for the success of our sister's birthday today. And um, somehow I couldn't sleep. I worked the previous night, I couldn't sleep. And um, I, I, I helped a friend to move house. After that, I went to pick decorations to bring them here, sort of. Anyway, and the room running and not having enough rest. Um, I knocked somebody. I just, I, it has never happened to me in my life. I've been driving for over, I think over 10 years. But somehow, um, I, didn't, I didn't look to the right. I don't know, I always do, I always check. I didn't, I just entered the road. And then somehow I bashed somebody. But um, I thank God because that man, in that car there was a man with a child, a, ma, a child, a boy. A boy. They were not injured. The car was not that dam that damaged, really, because I was just setting up. And um, I'm a slow driver, so really there wasn't that much damage. And also, I didn't hurt myself because it was. I just tried to avoid, and so it, it was my side that hit his his side, but from the back because I tried to go to the brakes, but it was too late. And I just thank God for my life because it would be worse. You know, it would be what I could have had maybe somebody in that car or myself, you know. But um, when it happened, I was like, oh my God, what's this? But because I didn't rest enough, really, and I was just excited about what was coming on today. So I think that was at the back of my mind. And um, so uh, I talked to the man. The man was so nice to me. He said, what do you want? Do you want just us to just deal with it or you want me to inform the insurers. I said, I don't know, I don't know now, I don't know. He said, okay, you go home. I'm not going to inform my insurers. Go think about it. What you decide is what I will do. So I thought, mm, what should I do? So I thought, you know what? After, he, after we parted, I said, God, <laughs> be my, my, my defender. I pray that this man Will will cancel this and you will not see what needed to do anything about it. You know, it's as crazy as that. And um, yes, I put to prayer, and I'm believing God that He will say that you know what, Madam, it's okay. He's going to do it in Jesus' name. I'm believing it. So now today I called the man and he was like, Oh, I'm on my way from Leeds. But don't worry, don't worry. It's okay. I'll call you when I get time. Oh. You be, to be honest with you, the damage would be ignored because something, it was something which someone can even do to their car themselves. 
you know, if you're driving a van, it's very easy to hit the behind bits, you know. But um, um, I just thank God for, for being here. For being here today, I'm alive. I don't have any part of my body hurt. My family is okay. Everything is well. I still declare that Jesus is Lord. And I, I still believe he's Lord. And he's coming to take us home. So I give God the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Tetumani chani bade chitia Oksinga kao Noro ito tetucha alikuwewe Vigama ati katikolo ujuli zibutono We don't know what to do We don't know what to do So we don't give We don't, we don't give weight to testimonies Every testimony is a testimony Because at the end of the day Because it wasn't her own Ena katonda katonda ya kose Kone ye unisa kwa tuokera It was our way Amen Amen Tumutize chitiba chitia there's something that uh, God challenged me about and uh, I think we all do it I think so because uh, I don't think it can only be me but I just want to give God glory and thanks because uh, some of you know what happened to me, uh, my journey back from from Uganda recently. Um, it wasn't a smooth journey. Uh, we got delayed for about 10 hours or even more. But the thing is, afterwards, of course, we, I complained and everything, you know, uh, like everybody were all complaining, how could it have happened, this, that, and the other, were tired or hungry and everything. But um, afterwards, God was challenging me because, you know, when you're going to travel, you pray to God and you ask for journey mercies, yeah? And then God works in all sorts of ways. So you can't think that this is how God is going to do it because he does whatever he wants because he's God. Amen. Amen. Uh, and so when we were coming back on our way back after having been delayed because of VIP problems, we eventually boarded the plane. When we got on the plane, we were delayed again and then eventually the plane started, you know, the captain said, you know, we're about to, uh, to take off and, you know, everything, the announcements that he makes. And then as the plane started moving, then um, he then announced and said, actually before that the plane was kind of, you know how it moves before it finally takes off, mm -hmm. kind of moving on the runway, I think they call it taxi. But it went on for a, a very long time, you know, longer than usual, maybe about 20 minutes, everyone was saying, what's going on? Because it's like he started it, you know, like you start the car and you hear the noise. Then he started moving, but very slowly. And then eventually we thought we're going to take off, but it didn't happen. So we're all waiting, saying, like, what's going on? What's happening? Then he said, uh, then the captain announced, you know, this is the captain announcing, unfortunately, the plane has a technical, a mechanical problem, mechanical fault, but uh, um, it will take about 20 minutes to fix it. We were not happy, of course, um, everyone was complaining. And then, we waited 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, he made another announcement. Unfortunately, you all have to get off the plane because uh, it cannot be fixed in, in 20 minutes. So all of you have to come off uh, and go back to the terminal, go through security again. We are very sorry. And we were not happy. We were complaining. We were, people were saying all kinds of things. But afterwards, God, you know, God was talking to me. God really challenged me and said, we are very quick to complain, but how do you know that God's hand was there in the whole situation? Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Because supposing this fault had it been, happened. you know, <laughs> discovered when we had already taken off, what would have happened? Because we don't know what the mechanical fault was. The captain never told us, but because it took about three hours to, to fix, it must have been a big problem. And remember, we were already on our way because the plane was moving and then something happened. So God was telling me, where do I come in in all this? Maybe I intervened, mm. you see? Because when you're going to travel, you pray for journey masses. Maybe this was me. This was my masses. This was me, you know, stopping what the enemy wanted to do. So I said, you know what, God, I'm, I'm just so sorry. I actually, I actually asked God for forgiveness and I said, I'm so sorry, God, because... We shouldn't be complaining. Well, other people may be complaining, but me, I shouldn't be complaining because everything with me is in your hands. So when yeah. something like this happens, I need to take a step back and say, thank you, Lord. Yes. Not thank you because I've been delayed and this and that, but thank you, Lord, that something could have happened. Mm -hmm. The enemy was planning something, mm -hmm. but you intervened. Yeah. 
and you stopped it. Amen. And I really, you know, I, I felt I felt so bad about it. I, I, I asked God for forgiveness. And I thank him, you know, I want to stand here and thank him because I know that he did something to that plane that stopped something worse yeah. that could have happened. Because I believe there's so many things that happen to us. There's so many ways in which God intervenes in our lives and we don't know. Yeah. You know, we don't know what could have happened to us. Amen. I believe if he was to show us these things, we'd all be amazed. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. But he steps in and stops what you know the enemy was planning to do. Amen. Amen. And on top of that, my baggage got lost. You know, I had two bags, one of the bags got lost. But one thing I want to thank God for is I was telling my sister that you know what? I don't even care about that bag. I don't as long as long as I'm safe, you know, I came back here safe. I do not care what was in the bag. You know, sometimes we get carried away with worldly possessions. Yeah. Yeah. Because whatever was in the bag was clothes, shoes, jewelry. This is something that you can go to the shop and buy again. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. So sometimes we get so... Now imagine for, the, for four days, because I got it after four days. For four days, I would have been there complaining and, and mourning and saying, my bag, this and that. I was, I was sorry. In fact, the kids were telling me, Mommy, you're so relaxed about your bag. You actually, Holly didn't even know she was like, you, you didn't get your bag. You, haven't, you didn't say nothing. I said, Holly, these are just things that you shouldn't worry about, you know? These are worldly possessions, amen? But like, like Sister Sarah said, you know, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. This is, we need to seek after God and his righteousness. Amen. Every other thing that is around us, you know, it is here today and gone tomorrow. So what are you going to do about it if it is gone? Are you going to you know, go crazy, lose, you know, lose your mind and everything? We shouldn't worry about things that don't matter. Amen. Amen. They may be important in our lives, but they're not the end of our lives. Yes. Hallelujah. We can get replacements. Let's yes. worry and be concerned about heavenly things, about spiritual things. Because when we lose them, yes. hallelujah, mm. they're gone for good. I mean, and we are done. Hallelujah. Amen. We are gone. But we should fix and focus on the things that are heavenly. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Oh, which I want to come to Glory to God. She has a testimony. Wow. Praise the Lord. I'm very grateful to be here today. Amen. When I see me, I'm going to stood here before. When I see me, I'm going to go. 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 Yeah. But uh, I'm going to mix, yeah? Yes, mm -hmm. but she'll translate. Mm -hmm. um, on the 18th of July, mm -hmm. it's something that relates to what she said. The 18th of July, I was meant to go somewhere for an interview. And together with my friend, we agreed to meet at exactly 8. Because we're going to um, Rochester. So we said 8 on the dot, we should meet at ESO. Um, there are two ESOs. There's one up where we stopped, Plumstead Common, and there's another just um, Plumstead High Street. So she went to the uh, Common, and I stayed at the High Street. But about 7.30, I dropped off Hannah and Samantha to the childminder who was supposed to take Samantha to school. So, well, my friend said, well, let me sort out whatever I'm doing, and we shall meet at ESO. So I sat at the High Street, until 8, 8.15, when I started getting agitated, I said, oh my God, we're supposed to be the other side at nine on the door, how are we going to make this, yeah? But I think there was something holding onto me, and the person I was going to protect was Samantha, yeah? Because at 8, 8.20, the child minder hands over Samantha to an 11 year old to take her to school. You know, so at 8:20, that's when 8:20 is when I left ESO, in the High Street, and I walked towards um, Plumstead train station, only to meet Samantha with a schoolmate, 11-year-old, walking to school, and I say, "Heavens, Lord, we're supposed to go at what time? Eight on the dot." And I'm complaining, just like what she was saying, yeah. Why are we not going? Why are we not going, yeah? But well, I just, you know, I just stayed there, I started perusing through my phone, WhatsApp and whatnot. So I walked with Samantha and the other girl, who is well, she's the daughter of the child minder. But then I thought to myself, there's a very busy, you know, junction, there is that very busy traffic light. What if I wasn't there? What would have happened? Here I am, I'm rushing for what? An interview, yeah? So I walked with them right to school. 
yeah. And my friend waited for, for another 10 minutes, and we made it there on time. Wow. So, wow. Yeah. so, in all these things, um, <laughs> everyone knows I go to St. Peter's, yeah? Mm -hmm. I go to every Catholic church, but I'm very grateful. Charles left me with a very beautiful family. Amen. I really, really appreciate. I may not be here every Sunday, mm -hmm. but wherever I am, I truly, truly appreciate from the bottom of my heart. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You know, we all do her, yeah? Mm -hmm. And each time before we leave our houses, we pray. And I'm very, very sure, relating to what Sister Evelyn said, she prayed. I also prayed something held me back. And I protected both in Samantha up to school, you know? And then, well, at least they were off the highs. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a long high school. To imagine from about Iceland, mm -hmm. she goes to school up. Uh, the high school is next to Evelyn's place, Sister Evelyn's place. That's how far it is. She goes to St. Patrick's. That's how far it is. And they're not taking shortcuts, but they normally do on you know, the high, high street walking. Yeah, 8 in the morning is very busy, so it's quite challenging. You know, you have to plan work, what you're thinking of a child mind, uh, what is she doing to the kids, yeah? Is she really taking Samantha's school herself on that day? God opened God opened my eye, yeah. But sometimes we are really in a fix. We still end up taking them back to that same person because they are consistent, you know? They are there to look after them. So all I have to say, we continue praying for each other. And like Sister Sarah said, we still need to pray for ourselves. You know? yeah. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. I don't want to wait your week. Uh, Holy Spirit is telling us we to be careful about complaining about situations that happen now. Hallelujah. Because uh, two testimonies. Hallelujah. <laughs> It's a challenge to, to me. Hallelujah. But in every entity, what you're not. All the glory. And pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I take this time. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much for everyone. It's our prayer that as we gather, as we listen, let it be Father God from your throne, that you touch our hearts and revive us, my Father, and strengthen us in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. So, when he, um, Auntie Evelyn was uh, giving that testimony, and there's something I read, I don't know whether someone, some of you have read about it. There's this woman who boarded a plane, I don't know whether it was from Jamaica, I don't remember the place, but all of a sudden she was overtaken by the Holy Spirit and she started praying in tongues. And she prayed in tongues non stop. And you all know that if you make noise on the plane, the pilot cannot take off. Mm. So they tried to calm her down, and then she was praying constantly. So the plane was late for two hours. Yes. Because she was praying. <laughs> but eventually, the pilot discovered that the, the plane was faulty. And he said that if they had taken off two hours early, yeah. the plane would have crashed. Oh my so God works in mysterious ways. Yes. And sometimes we complain mm -hmm. because of this and that. God loves us so much. But in the midst of our complaining, He still carries us. Remember the children of Israel when they are coming from Egypt. All through the way. <laughs> and He still carried them to the promised land. Come our favors. Trevor Zakatonda, our sister Yvette, sister. Um, Sister Amina, today is a 
Sister Mila's birthday. Amen. And we are celebrating those years. God has given you. But remind me at the end of this service, I feel compelled to pray and break the spirit of accident so that it stops. You know, we thank God that God saved you on that, that it was just a minor one. But um, we pray that God may put a stop to that totally. That it doesn't happen um, as, um, at all in the house of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, um, I will be using the Total Language Sister event. Um, and uh, actually, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be using quite a few other languages. I'll be using um, Chinyarwanda, Congo, Uganda, Swahili. I'll be saying things like Sangoni. Where is God? Things like Orvogish. <laughs> we worship a God of God languages. Hallelujah. Now I'll ask my friends here, my, my colleagues, to keep the voices down. Praise God. We are going to be looking at the book of uh, Second Kings, First Kings, chapter 19. We saw this last Saturday. An English one because I was prepared for it in Uganda version. Um, okay, first things, chapter 19. I'm going to read the Uganda version, but if you can follow me in the English one, I'll come back. Um, chapter 1, chapter 19, verse 1. Au akabu na wuli ya ezebe di bione di ya biyakola yena wuli ya taba na bimo na nechitala au ezebe di na tu mire di ya kubwa kanga yokele anti ba katunda ba kure wewe ba chuo no kuchira o kusi fulo bula mbo o kubango bula mbo mkuu kwa o encha mbuli ba na kampe ground I'm going to be preaching in English so people will come and listen to us. Na hile njini na hata ambula, au biyaraba hivyo, na agulu kukanagina urobula, na agina nu urobula muwe. Na hile njia bilu seba, echa yuda, na hile kayo mbuduwe. Verse 4. Na hile njini na hata ambulu rugendo, uroru na kurumu, mudungu, na hile natura wansi uomolo ola, na hile sabiru ufa. Na hile gira antichina amala, china amala kakano, hai mkama, zia kubula mbuwa nge kubanga, Sisi inga ba jajja ngoburunji. Na atumula kare na ba omogati inga guli ya u. Na guli ya wali omutwekwe. Ogoke kuduwa kumanda. Na haka sumbi haka mazi. Na haka nanywa na haka la mga nate. Maraika mkama na jana tomu ni ugo kubili. Na muko makona ya gira nti goroko kolie. Ubangu urugendo. Luku yizu omnene. Verse 8. Na haka goroko ka. Na haka nanywa. Na haka angula mwanyi. Age mbele yu enapa makumi ya anahe misana nechiro Na atuka epole buso ziwe kwa katonda Na atuka yu na ingira mpuku na sulomo Kale laba ejiga mocha mkama na chimu gira na mga amanti Okola chiwa nelia Na yu gira anti mkwati dobu jabunji kwa mkama katonda uweje Kwa nga bana baisi daili wale senda gano yu Asude vyoto vyo, elaba seba nabia vechile, kwa bada nababibo, nechitara, nange nzeze ka, nzeze sigade u, nogula mwange, babuno nyoku kujia u. Last 11. Na ayo gira antifuruma, uimie kusozi mumaso kugamu kama, kare laba, mkama, na ita u, emu ya ganyinje za manye, nezime nye sozi, nezase njazi, mumaso gamu kama, ne mkama angatani mumu ya ga, Aurufa nyumu rimu ya ga chikanka no chansi. Nemu kama angatalimu chikanka no chansi. Aurufa nyumu rwe chikanka no muliro. Nemu kama angatalimu muliro. Aurufa nyumu rwe muliro ndogoz. Tono ya gonje kwa. Aurufa kedia wea liulida. Na hebi kama soke mbumuna jiro. Na afuruma na imira muliango kwe mpuku. Kale laba ni wamo jile ndogoz. Nelio kera chokola chua na iria. 
na ayo kera ati kwa ati do kujia kunji kwa mkama katona weje kubanga vana vai sila hii bale se indagano yu basu devi oto vyo ila basu vana ibu nechitala na ange nzeze kaze sika deo nobula mwane vaguno nyo kujia o na mkama na mkama ati geno deo mkuboli o ilipa Mukubali yao heje dunu ya Damasco hali poli tuuka ufukanga ufukanga mafuta bokeze yari ukwa kwa kwa kusuri ne kuyepo mtabani wani musi ufukanga kama mafuta ukwa kwa 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 Israeli ne ili sabu tabani wa safari owe abiru mukolo ufukanga kama mafuta ukwa na bimu chifuacho auli tuuka o yana wana mitsa cha bokeze yari yako ana mutanga no yana wana mitsa cha yepo ili sana mutanga. Era na ye diye sigali zaka sangu misi daili amavivi bonna agata fukamira nda buli agata fukamira nda daili na buli kama akata mnyo ege langa au na vayo na sangu ni sabda nua safari yali ngali ma ngali na mama soge imebo diye tukumi nebili diye ngali na Mwe kuminebili, aweli ya nasomo ka ukubye na jari, na musula kwa muna giro kwe, na unale kente, na duka ambilo kwe na ilia, na ayo gira mtikwega ili de, kambaloku nye gira chitange ni mange, yoke kukubele de, na mungama jidayo kubanga mkosechi, na dayo, na ata mkubela, na dio mkubo kwente na zita, na afumbe nyama ya azo, na ibi ntubiente, na agabila bantu nevalia, au na agolo kuka, na agobele ilia, na mweleza. Praise God. I just wanted verse 21, but I thought it would be good if you read the whole chapter. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Um, we preached about this on Saturday last week um, and on Sunday, um, but there's a few things I wanted us to bring about which I don't think uh, we captured on Saturday and Sunday. We said we all know about Elijah. You all know about the soul of Elijah. Every one of us have heard about Elijah because we say Elijah's God is the God who answers by fire. Elijah was um, a mighty man. The Bible calls him. And Elijah is a big, a good picture of us as some um, um, born again Christians that when we come to Christ, there is a work he does in us that continually, when you walk with God as Elijah did, he shows you himself to you in a different way that continually you get revealed the mightiness or the goodness or the masses of God on a regular basis. Because at first Elijah, the Bible shows us that when we first see Elijah, Elijah was jealous for God. He was really angry because he saw the way people were behaving around God that they were um, in the church and out of the church. They were embracing the prophets of Baal and then they were coming on Sunday and worshiping God. They are practicing witchcraft during the week and coming back on Sunday to do the worshiping of God. And pre, um, to be honest with you, Tewali Chichu Sebo Neku Munebe Kudu Kutulimu Abantu Wajja Mukanisa Atenga Neyachi Nebya Setani Babi Agala They come to church on Sunday but they still hold on to the things of the world. Eroba Sange Misena Mingi Nyo Chitu Wale Chisena that people forsaking the old lifestyle they come to church but still they 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 do um the works of the enemy praise god Amen. praise god Amen. and it's a thing that we, we 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 encounter so much in the church nay elijah encountered that but elijah knew his god that he stood up one time and he said you know what this is too much i said that last time we said that he closed the heavens let me show you how my God works. And he closed the heavens for three and a half years. And I emphasize this on each and every time that we serve a God who is above anything else. Because Elijah in his position could close the heavens. No prisoner you know of could close the heavens. Even Donald Trump cannot. No one. But in your position as a Christian, you can talk to your God, who is the CEO of the whole universe, that you can decide things with your God, and they take place. That's why you say, come and let us reason together. 
He doesn't call the council of the parliament and the senate and all that. No. He calls you and says, come, let us reason together. Because you ought to come. And you know what? Elijah never feared in this time of, uh, um, of witchcraft. You know, in the church, we are so scared of what the witches can do. But Elijah stood up and said, you know what? I'm going to show you who is God. And we see Elijah. Um, I always say that Elijah was a difficult man to follow. As because any time he calls fire and he runs away. Now, if you're walking with him and you don't know how to run, Zikusanze, praise God. He will call fire and run away. Now, Elijah comes and then Ahab is looking for Elijah. This is a king of Israel with all his power. He's looking for Elijah to ask him to open the heavens. Can you imagine? With all the altars he had of Baal, and he could not open the heavens, and he had to look for Elijah. Come out favors you. Saying that many our local a man in the Tolina. In the NC, never cover cover NC. Baba Batumori de Gabalabe, Chicho no Salao. If we knew as Christians the power that we hold, saying that a drag idea, that you can hold the heavens and say, you know what? This is not going to happen. I was looking at what is happening in this country. You know, listen to the police reports and all that. They haven't got power to stop the crime wave sweeping through England. You know, when you see kids stabbing each other, people pouring acid on each other, the police hasn't got power to stop that. And that's where the church comes in. But sometimes, even when you look through the church, the church is is doing other things as uh, as prophet Elijah saw that they are here and there. So Elijah comes to the scene much later in chapter 18, I think, and he says, you know what, yeah? I'm going to show you who God is. Let us decide today, once and for all. You make your own altar and let me make my own altar. The God who answers by fire will be a God. You know, church, I think time has come to take away your to be beating. I get tired in the church when people start fearing what the witches can do. It is time that we come in the church and say, you know what? The God who answers by fire, let him be God. Praise God. Because we know what the witches have threatened to do. But we know how much our God can do because his power is far above. Elijah was born enough and said, let the God who answer by fire be God today. Why should we, we as children of God, who profess to the almighty God, be coward and then hide in corners because a witch has stood up in our midst? And I've seen this in churches when a witch walks in and somebody they suspect to be a witch walks into here and then the person scatters, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was in a church, this wonderful church, and then they said this person is a witch. And the whole room, that whole room, entire room, everybody disappears. And I will say, you know what? I've been looking for you to see it. <laughs> and I come and I sit next to him. See what he can do because I'm a mighty God. Mm -hmm. Hey. You know what, church? You know how lovely we are as we are here. If person comes in here with the, you know, the back cloth and the and the, and the spear and all beards and all that, yeah, <laughs> chanting in a, a strange language that we never had, all you mighty women and men, I will see you. The toilet will be too <laughs> small for us to squeeze in. This this door here, I think, will be too small because you don't know the God that we serve. You know, we hear of stories that even some pastors, and you know what? It has become so bad that everything good we attribute to the devil. If somebody preaches really well to you, now, what does our God do? Praise God. Amen. Elijah stood up. You know the story. He made an altar. He made his with his with um, 12 stones. They called the whole day. The fire did not come. 
He called by the fire, the fire came because he spoke a word and then God came down, consumed um, the sacrifice which was there. And Elijah in his might, because he had the spirit of God upon him, took about 400 prophets of that, slaughtered them, slaughtered them. Now we are a man because he went and prayed because now we have cleared the prophets have died you've known who God is now God will reign but sometimes first clear the path so that God may come where it is clear and now in chapter 19 we see Elijah when this woman Jezebel one time we're going to come and speak about this woman Jezebel but that's not my subject today Jezebel spoke one word and said, now for me, I won't rest until the head of Elijah is off. Now this man, Elijah, who can close the heavens, who can call fire from heaven? <laughs> Praise God. He's taking off. I remember when I was in Uganda praying with brothers. Yeah? And we are praying. And then, if, I don't know whether you remember in Uganda, a long time ago there was an earthquake. Remember that time when there was an earthquake? So long that I think it was in the 80s or in the early 90s. It wasn't major, but it was a minor one. So in this prayer, when you're praying and you're praying and the earthquake happened and everybody ran. Because <laughs> the house house was shaking and everybody ran out. But sometimes, even this man Elijah, we see him taking off because one woman, this woman didn't do anything. She just spoke the word. And Elijah took off. And she said, I don't know what to do. 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 quite important in life that you pray for yourself constantly. And even in your praying for yourself, remember somebody else because we don't know what people go through. This man, Onomkazi Yadina, Wamukwata, Chitagera, Omani, everybody has got something that can pull you down. I've discovered that. Superman has got kryptonite. You know, Superman, you know Superman. Superman, you know his might. There was a chemical called kryptonite. And most of us have got, you know, even the strongest. I've seen some huge, big man, big men crying because somebody has touched them somewhere on a um, where it hurts. Kati, we don't know what people go through sometimes. Something small like that can tip them off. And you always need to, we always need to stand with people in prayer. On Elijah, Mumani, get on that one. That can't be that one. Elijah, Elijah is running away from this woman, and Elijah actually becomes suicidal. I was saying on Sunday, becomes suicidal. He desires to die, and I've seen so many men and women of men of God in America. They say at least every single year, pastors who start as pastors beginning of the year, at least seventy percent give up. Abamu betta no betta. Some kill themselves. About the people that I saw, I think in the last 20 years in the UK, who started off as Christians, most of them have walked away because of the pressure, because of the threats of the enemy. Hallelujah. When we stop arguing on who seeks where and start dealing with issues that are actually affecting us, people come to church when they're threatened. This becomes a sanctuary of where you come and need to be refreshed. Some of us have come running because there's a woman who said, you know what, today. I'm telling you that because you come running because there are threats on your life. You want to become a Christian, you become a target of, of the enemy. There's a wanted list out there with your names on. So we come running to the sanctuary of God so that we may get refreshed. Elijah is running and Elijah is on his own because there's no one there because they think he's a mighty man. God meets him and is crying and saying, I want to die. Praise God. Amen. <laughs> he says, I want to die. Now we see Elijah in his second part. Elijah becomes bolder and he needs an encounter with God. 
afuna ezisenkalo ne katonda kan kuboli eteri kintu kya muweno kakufuna ezisenkalo na katonda na yesu senkalo yera ida ne katonda ejira mu bintu bya tasubira it comes in things that does not expect because elijah is a man who calls fire so now elijah is used to god who answers by fire but when the fire comes god is not in that fire that's why it's important to us as Christians to be aware and to tune our ears on what God is doing at that particular time. Because now God has changed because Elijah is used to how God works. God comes and then there's thunder and God is not in there. I remember, I remember I was a, um, I think it was a long time ago but I was a there was a scene in that actual play um, when they are going through a lot of trouble as a family, this particular family. And then one of them in that scene, in the one of the characters was a born again Christian. And they said, no, let's, let's pray. And then um, she gathered, gathers them to come and pray. And they were quite funny because when they gathered to pray, about six of them, they expect their sister to lead them in prayer. And one of them was quite funny started to pray and he shouted so much, Be a God! And then <laughs> this one said, no, 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 no. <laughs> Why are you shouting? And one of them said, No, no, no. I don't think he shouted enough because our problems are too big. We need to shout louder so that God may hear us. Because <laughs> the Lord comes here to, to, to change the understanding of Elijah to make him new so that he may send him back. Chokola mm Banti, -hmm. you desire so much. You know, when I come to church, I always say that, Lord, I'm going to church, but I pray that I may have an encounter with you. I love you so much as a church. I love you, Sister, sister Amin. I love you, Sister Yve. But when I come to church, I don't come to meet man. Mm -hmm. I want to come and have an encounter with God because in my so that when I go back next week, I'm a changed person. I don't want to be stuck in that way that I knew him of yesterday and need to know how he moves even today. Because I tell you what, Katonalinganga Nyanja. Never was a kechukoko to Mumalai. Ochitagera. God is like a sea that when you go with a cup and, and, and you scoop out the water. He is still God. So I need to go back more and more so that I may know him more than I knew him yesterday. Now Elijah knew him as a God who answers by fire, but this time he's not in the fire. Do you understand? He's not in the fire. In the thunder, God is not there. So three times he comes and Elijah is waiting for him to talk. And that's why you need to be careful. Because if I was Elijah, as soon as the thunder came and the destruction of her, because now Elijah knows him as the destroyer, the destruction of the mountains, I would have gone and said, you know what, I've met God. You know, sometimes you come away and you're saying, I've met God. And when, when you ask, what did God say? You have nothing. Because in the thunder, he was not there. In the fire, he was not there. And sometimes we hear the shouting. We hear the shouting. We see the flashing. But God has not yet spoken. And some of us are quick to walk away because we had the thunder. But we didn't have the real encounter. Because when he, he comes and he has an encounter with you, he has to get you have to get away with something that is tangible. Change. Because he comes and whispers. Kati, Elijah in his life has never gone, has never known of a God who whispers. <laughs> Praise God. He has not known him as a God who whispers. Now, the, the funny thing is when you read the Bible, the Bible, when God comes to meet Moses, he says that Abraham knew me as God, but he never knew me as the Lord. All the time when God walked with Abraham, Abraham never knew him as the Lord. But now I'm coming to you praise God so sometimes you know we need to take time back and I've known one thing that in anything that God is going to have an encounter with you he has got to separate you from anything else he's got to peel you away and take you to a place called a cave so that he can meet you 
Now, a camp may not be that physical thing. But you can't come in a church and you've separated yourself from everything, from every thought, and you've got a desire, even here, as we are seated here, God can choose to have an encounter with you and he whispers to you alone things that you need to hear. Every man in the Bible that I've seen, when he has an encounter with God, it is for him or her alone, not for everybody else. Abraham had to separate himself from everyone else for God to speak that no, don't kill that boy. Amen. Praise God. Amen. When God comes and meets Paul, he is in a group of people. They see the thunder, they see the lightning, but they don't hear the voice. Because every encounter has got to be tailored for you and you alone. Not for everyone, not for everyone else. You alone. God, when He comes to encounter you, He comes for you. Hallelujah. That's why it becomes my personal Savior. <laughs> because if I don't understand Him on my own, I'll be confused. By every wind that comes, we are going to have an encounter with him. That's why Elijah had to go to the cave. That God may come and speak to him. And him alone. Now God gives him a task. He says to him that, you know what? You want to come to me, but you haven't got a successor. First, you want to know somebody who is going to replace you. I won't go into that. It's quite long. But I've discovered that for every one of us who is here, you have to have somebody who's gone, who, who you have prepared to step into your, to your shoes. Even in our culture, especially in the Ugandan culture, the Ghana culture, we fear to talk about death or for success. That's why many times we, as a people, we don't make wheels. To be here. Because we fear to make a will. Yeah. I've discovered, you know, the Jewish culture. Once they hit 50, mm -hmm. they start preparing for their death. Mm -hmm. They start saving for their funeral. <laughs> yeah. Now, when we talk about that in our culture, we say that we've got demons. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Pastor, you know what? That's a count you're bringing. That's demons. But death is inevitable. And for anybody to be successful, we have to have a success. Mm -hmm. Now, Elijah, with all his success of holding fire, closing heavens, to God he wasn't successful until he anoints somebody to replace him. Now, it does not mean that once he anoints him, he's going to die. But to go back and finish your work. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. For you to complete your task, Elijah, go back and anoint somebody who is going to take over. Now, the anointing of Elijah was so big that I had to anoint three people to take his place. But he was going to die with all that. In this Elijah, the first part before he is before before he is transformed, he's holding on to something that he cannot handle himself. Can we imagine? I know three people, but he was still there for quite a, a substantial amount of time. And this is many people to Yoma. When I look at Moses, Moses was doing a work of so many people. And God tells him to go and anoint. When Jethro came to him, he said, You're going to die and kill the other people. So the anointing upon Moses was able to be poured unto 72 other. Was it 70 or 70? 72, I think it was. Yeah. Elders. Bakuro Murimuba Musa to do the work of Moses. Moses had anointing of 72 other people to do the work. Some of you don't know how much you are sitting on that God has put in you. Until you start doing it and giving it out, then you get a blessing. Some actually, some theologians say that you know the wine that was given out at Cal at Cannes, to your wine, 
Yafuka wa ine gawa mukola ji. Gawa mufuka when they poured it. Until you poured out, then you become pure. The more you poured out, the more you become pure. Pure. Kama feva si. Gawa ni yetu tori teko. Nae katika madi disepwa mbogo de mwende. Now it comes to Elisha. I like Elisha because God comes and anoints Elisha. But typical of Elijah, he comes and pours the anointing upon this man and he runs away. <laughs> no explanation, nothing. Comes, poof. Actually, he pours, he takes his garment. He took his garment and he put it on him and he walks away. No explanation. There is nothing as God as calling a man or woman of God. No explanation. Umani abantu abali talente abantu abali kaji tu chumba kwa kwa mene abali zibu nyoka nguvuni. Go bo kola chi. Go bo moyeguya. Wono mujako chuo kola chi. He comes because he was a difficult man. The first part. He comes and then when Elisha says, "What's this?" He comes after him and says, "What do you want from me?" Just like that. When pay runs out, you send them away. You who do you think you are? Yeah. Yeah. Send them away. You send them away. But this man humbles himself and goes back. Now, Elisha did something significant that I want us all to learn. He went back and took the twelve oxen. I'll, I'll explain some time later what they represent. The twelve oxen. And he took them, broke the yoke off them, because he was quite a rich man, and he slaughtered the M animals and prepared, cooked them, cooked them or did yeah, and then he gave to people. One, because Elisha, Yadia Salaw, Tino Jindaka, Enosigeda Buddha. Two, he announced to everyone. He was like making a party, but I'm going away. Telling everybody that I have been anointed. You know when you decide to do something, you let everybody know that this is where I am. You understand? That's why, to me, when I was leaving Bachelorhu, I had to make it announced to everyone that I've got a wife now. So that everybody gets to know. Cut most of us do not announce what we are to the whole world. Which is again that they don't know to any monopoly. On Sunday, you come in here like a secret undercover, undercover monopoly, yeah? undercover born again Christian. You come and sneak in the church. And sometimes, you know, you want to look around and see that, make sure that no one, what, sees that you're going to the church. Because you don't want to be counted as with them. You, you are undercover because you have never announced to the whole world. That even your family gets to know that, you know what, this man has crossed over. Because God is in the business of making sure that once you cross over, you don't go back. And the most people, the most difficult people to deal with are people with a, without a backbone who don't decide what they want to be. Whether they are going to the left or to the right. That's when you start became, that's when you lose your spirituality. <laughs> What's wrong with this man? Because you need to make a choice. Make a decision. Praise God. This applies. I'm going to never go from what you wish to be here. The boy said, "I want to inform you, no bang and basiza." Now, since the paru was in, I didn't have a boyfriend in Zocha. If you say every single man, every single move, we don't leave. We don't make that that party to announce that I've come this way. Yeah, we want to pretend that those ex exes of ours became friends. It's just a conversation. Two hours on Facebook, we are talking to that person. Make a choice. Let them know. Announce. Mm. 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 Mm.
and you make a choice and say, this is where I stand. Praise God. Amen. You don't stand this way and this way. After the Bible tells us that you rather be warm than cold. Don't be both. Yeah, because God is going to spit you out. That's what the Bible says. You may be torn apart. <laughs> Praise God. Because you need to make a choice. Elisha made a choice and burnt whatever he had that is not going back. By burning, by cooking it, he was announcing to the whole world that I made a choice. He announced where he is going. If you make a choice, you make a choice and you make a part about it that this is what I've decided. You know, I like what King David did. That when he was taking the Ark of Covenant into, 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 into Jerusalem, he made a part. Each step he made, he, each step he took, he had to celebrate. Because it was an achievement to him. He killed the cows and even everything that he had. Now, most of the time, let's speak in our cultures where we came from. The things that we hold on to that you don't want to let go, even when God is taking us different places. Things may never work out. That's why we have in our phones the phone numbers over is Atomania. <laughs> yeah? You never know. And the truth is so be told because I've walked around, I've seen around here how our community works, how the Christian they have the Tomania. You never know. It might never work out. We have those so much. Even when God is taking us to places, we have that. You never know. Praise God. We don't have that ability in us sometimes of trusting God entirely. That God and I are to Tuala. Then I'm going to go again and look at the community that would have done. To you know, we put a cape into a room. No, you know, I can't see a joke. Someone can know one on a Sakya, a Lisa, that you know, coach into the acre. Most of the time, what holds us and binds us is what was happening in our father's house. To be able to be successful in Christianity, we've got to make sure that we do a thorough check in our households what was there which is not of God and what might be following, what might, what might be following us. For this man to be successful, well, because the Bible says at the end, Area. Some of the English versions say that he started pouring water yeah, on Elijah. Do you understand that? He sold his 12 oxen. He was a man of substance. Now he's doing a man. He was a, he's lowering himself down for him to get to the things of God. He's taken now to be a servant to this Elijah who is so rude. He's a difficult man. Now, yes, I got to say, could you think you? Yeah? You don't know where I came from, but you don't know, you don't know my father's house. Some of <laughs> we remember where we grew up from. Who is he talking to me? Who does he think he is? Has he got a degree? Has he got a degree? <laughs> the, the funny thing is, when we go to work, we don't do those things. <laughs> Sometimes the people who are above us in offices haven't got even the same education that we have. But you, you, and you are there eight years. How come that we fail in our marriages? How come we fail to serve God? You know that the pastor who is before you is even younger than you. Yeah? And he's giving you orders. And you don't complain. You don't ask them, how old, you are? How old are you? If you don't get your opinion. They want to see you. Why? Because I'm going to send the boys to them. But we get a lot of money to all these rules. But we get a lot of money to all these rules. 
Oye pankira kwani. Eh? Anti abu yako jiba kuchilegele. Uno. Yayoche ntezi. Eh? Na agenda awelezo musajia na mfuka komazi. It was a lower job than the one he had. He had a business. Kakati alienu. Ama futa gari na kakolachi. Gamu tawanya. He had. Kati senga he had uocheza. He had. If he had not burnt that and so. And he done away the way. He parted. He had so long. Echi sinzo kutuga no kumala kumuguloko ni. Gatu yukina jetu kwa lachi. Jetu hafa. Na hika mkuburi ni. Katati na joku bidi. Jejitu kino watu kino demu. Walivye mitu ya mitu silanga. Mitu kwa wana. Na mifamu nyumba ya kwa hafa. Some things which are coming from our father's family. Pulling us back to where we came from. Could be anything. Could be pride. Could be anger. Only the pride you had in your... Unless you burn that. That pride in your father's house. That can cause you problems. To go anywhere. It could be the anger in your father's house. This man had to go back and deal with it. With anointing upon his life. He had to go back and deal with it. So making sure that when I go. Nothing will pull me back. The anger in my father's house. Won't fail me. To where I'm going. Ukama famous. Ukama famous. Simone wa nikola amako. Nem ukama atu mwe kisa. That as you enter into this phase of our lives, we check whether we've burnt the oxen. Yeah? So that we may be able to serve God. Kubange no mukama bia kreta mo bilala. Omusa javanda ina ndi tezi. Zee kule te. Kakata asate mkufikira mahambazi kumusa jono. Eia. Omusi wenyo mkambwe. Kate gere keka. Kata afukama ziku miko meje. Kati senga ya ucheza bintu bini bia hafa. Ya ni mandanda yu. Kati ya anecheza ngegezili. Sitia kubela kumusa jamula lupu. Tayuki na tako laki. Bati hatu kwa baka ni uwebeti. Na ya mkama ya kutuwa nyomu kisa. Kuduna teke na esonga zongoro kwa li. Mkama ya kutuwa nyomu kisa. Kuduna teke na makulu wakali mwe kaunta. Mkama ya kutuwa nyomu kisa. Kuduna kiliza katuna na tutu sabu li. Kuduna kumbaba ya tutu sangeri ya. Tibo tuwa muna njina jo. Kwa kuna uza antu wali. What amazes me is that when Moses goes and sees God burning in a bush of fire. He goes to collect, to, to get this children of Israel. By the time he comes back, the whole mountain is on fire. Because God is more than what we can ever think of. Uli kasera kwe kukwila yu ulala hubumu wengu mwaga de. Kati ilia, manji ilia, amu manji nga katona damu no mulilo kakata teka tayogende kama. So you cannot comprehend the fullness of God. But if you humble yourself to him, every single time he's going to reveal himself unto you and bless you in a mighty way. Echo chenno onya anzi uli kasera. Echo chenno onya, basinze kulawa bantu. Nechilala, tino, if you humble yourself to him, he's going to have an encounter with you and reveal himself to you in ways that you've never known before. If you take the time to go over to the house, I think that you have to go to the house. I think that you have to go to the house. I think that you have to go to the house. I think that you have to Hallelujah. Father, thank you for your grace. We thank you for loving us, my Father. We thank you for each and every one of us, my Father. We come to you hungry, my Father God. We come to you desiring to be know, to know you more than what we know you, my Father God. We come to you, my Father God, desiring to know your ways, O oh God. We see Elijah, my Father God, that when I had an encounter with you, he saw you in a different way, my Father God Almighty. Give us the grace that even tonight that we have an encounter with you. Touch us with your power. Reveal yourself unto us, my Father, that your name will be glorified, O King of glory. Give us the grace of God and teach us your ways, my Father. Some of us are here, but we are still stuck in our Father's house, my Lord God Almighty. We've not, we'll never come out of Father God. Some of us are here, but oh Father God, even where you've taken us, we still think that we are going back to where we came from. Today we break off that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. We break it off our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. And whatever has been pulling us, so oh Father God, taking us back from where we came from, we are it powerless in the name of Jesus Christ, my God. Give us the grace, my Lord, to break through and go forth in the name of Jesus, that your name will be glorified, O oh God. Na mwini aliwa na mwini nani katondo wekisa. Amanda asibidua. Nga achari kwa kama mwini wa ngaloza. Nga achari na 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 achari na
Jobo Tola Katondo works. So take us to the place where you want us to go, my Father God Almighty. Whatever has been pulling us back, I render powerless in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your name be glorified, O King of Glory. And even now, my Father God, I thank you for our sister Amina, who is celebrating her birthday today. We pray for abundance of blessings, my Father. We pray for abundance of blessings, King of Glory. Oh, Father God, that whatever has been holding her back, we're in the powerless in the name of Jesus Christ. Come, my Father God, and speak unto her in a new way, my Father God. And as she's celebrating her birthday, let her have an encounter with you, my Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God, that your name will be glorified, O oh God Almighty. Bless her mightily. We cancel every plan of the enemy upon her life, my Father God, that whatever the enemy is planning upon her life won't come to pass whatsoever. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God. Even the spirit of accident that has been following some people in this church of God, we are in the powerless in the name of Jesus. We pray for your protection, O King of Glory, that whatever the enemy is planning to do won't come to pass, O God. We release a host of angels, O God, to come and surround your people, my Father God. Hold them, my Father God, and give them your peace, O God. That order every person who steps, my Lord, that your name will be glorified, O King of Glory. Katonda wake some kama jevan kusaba. Tewuli achidi wano muna ngai kaba 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 ka. Muo mukisa. Mukwate kona ingaro yu. Musumuru ni katonda wake kisa. Muwa manya kaba jori. Mwakiza ama sobo. Ababa neba sobe duwa. Neba mecha kola hai katonda wake kisa mukama. Beira na go mukama. Hai katonda wa manya mukama. Be with them O God. Bless them my father God. Strengthen them O King of Glory. I cast my father God. Every negative word spoken unto your people my father God. That has been pulling them back O God. I run a powerless in the name of Jesus Christ, my God. Whatever thing the enemy has been planning upon your people, my Lord, I run a powerless in the name of Jesus Christ, my God. I pray, King of glory, the Lord Father God, your people have an encounter with you. That you come and whisper nice things into their ears, oh God. Even when they go home and they're sleeping on their beds, oh God. Whisper to them, my Father God, peace. Whisper to them, success, oh God. Speak unto them, my Father God. That they may know you more than they know you now, King of glory. That you know be glorified. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. We just thank the Lord for that timely word. Hallelujah. That is given us. Amen.